the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another video. Obviously, this is not New York Giants related. It's what I normally do, but a huge trade just went down in the NFL. And I made a video about this about five days ago. And I said there's going to be dramatic movement at the quarterback position. Expect dramatic movement in terms of the quarterback carousel. And Matt Stafford came out, the Lions came out, and said they were looking to move Matthew Stafford away from the Detroit Lions. And a big deal just went down. You see a swap of two former first overall picks. I could be wrong, but that is probably the first time that's ever happened in the history of the NFL. And maybe it isn't, but to my recollection it is, and maybe I'm forgetting about a trade or two. But two former number one overall picks at the quarterback spot get swapped for one another. But in addition to that, the Lions get a whole... We'll jump into all of it, and I'll give my full opinion on the trade um, as I break it all down. Of course, the Lions had to take, you know, get some more draft capital because they had to take back Jared Goff. Goff, of course, this year was very mediocre for the LA Rams under McVay, even though the Rams had a very strong season and surprised a lot of people. They ended up, I think, going 11-5. and They made the playoffs. I think they made the divisional round. Had a very strong ground game. They got an emerging running back with Cam Akers. Obviously, have a tremendous offensive mind with Sean McVay, the head coach, and are just two years removed from a Super Bowl. And they might be looking at this trade and saying to themselves, we could get a very talented quarterback in Matt Stafford, and he could help put us over the top. And we all know that the Rams are not scared to you know, give away a lot of draft capital in order to bring in superstars. You saw him do it with Jalen Ramsey. Uh, you know, they gave up multiple first round picks there as well to bring him in. And obviously, they had to give up draft capital to be able to get rid of that Jared Goff contract. They extended him a couple of years ago, which looked like a horrible extension. We'll get into all the contract details in a minute. But the Lions are probably looking at it like we're going to blow this up anyway. We'll take Goff's contract, and we could cut him in a couple of years if he doesn't pan out. And we're going to get a ton of young talent on this roster. Oh. Huge trade that just went down. I'll give my full opinion on it after I go over all the details and break down the contracts for both former number one overall picks at the quarterback position. First thing we're going to pull up is Ian Rappaport. And I wanted to wait until all the details came out because it was initially just reported that it was a quarterback swap plus more. Well, Rappaport is reporting that full terms of the deal, it is Matthew Stafford to the Rams for two first rounders and a third rounder along with Jared Goff. And a lot of people thought that Matt Stafford was only going to warrant a number one uh, first-round pick. Now, of course, you're bringing Goff back in the deal. And to, and to bring him back, the Lions probably said, well, you have to give us more draft capital. And that's exactly what happened. But if the Lions got this for Matthew Stafford, imagine what Deshaun Watson is going to warrant. You know the trade that they came up with today? You could cross that out for the New York Giants. That's not happening. It's going to cost more than that to get a quarterback who's only 25 years old Matt Stafford, as talented as, as he is, is 32 going on 33. I do think it's a great fit for the Rams, though, but they gave up a hell of a lot. The good news for New York Giants fans with this trade, of course, a lot of us were worried that Stafford could potentially be headed to the Washington football team. The Washington football team right now, they're picking 19th, probably not going to be able to get a great quarterback in this year's draft, and they may be looking at the quarterback carousel to bring somebody in. Their GM, I believe, is the guy who drafted Matthew Stafford. There was a connection there. People thought Washington would be all in in Matthew Stafford. Well, they don't end up with him as the Lions trade him to the L.A. Rams. That doesn't mean that Washington can't go out there and be active for Matt Ryan, Deshaun Watson, Jimmy Garoppolo. There's going to be quarterbacks uh, potentially available, but they will not end up with Matt Stafford. The, the uh, Rams give up a hefty price to bring him in. Now, in terms of the contracts, this is how Stafford's contract works out, and it is much more team-friendly. The number on the right all the way to the right side, I believe, is the dead cap hit. He only carries a $6 million dead cap hit in 2022. Now, of course, if you're giving all that up, they're probably not planning on cutting him, but you could cut him in tw after 2021. If, say, he suffered a horrible injury, you would save $20 million. Um, and the following year, he only carries a, looks like a $3 million dead cap hit. So Stafford is under a team-friendly contract here, over these next couple of years, he will be 35 at the conclusion of the contract. And like I said, this guy is still a very talented quarterback. I mean, you're talking about a guy who had 18 touchdowns in eight games just two years ago before he went down with the injury. This year, they couldn't get much going with the offense. But now the question will be, with Goff now going to the Detroit Lions, does that mean that Kenny Galladay leaves? My guess would be probably yes. It looks like that the Lions are going to be in full rebuild mode. In addition to that, they're going to get an additional first-round pick. So how does that shake things up in the first round now where the Lions, I think, are picking, I think, 7th or 8th overall? 
How does that impact their fir their first pick now that they have an additional pick in the first round in a rich wide receiver draft class? Maybe they don't go wide receiver there in the first, knowing they could get one back to in the you know in the mid twenties. Um, we're gonna have to wait and see how that all plays out. As far as Goff contra uh, Goff's contract goes, it's a year later. He is of course younger. He'll be twenty seven next year. It goes all the way to twenty twenty four when he's thirty. And they'd be able to get out of the contract after 2023 if he's not performing. They would save $24 million. He's due to have a $32 million um, um, $32 million salary. And according to this, and maybe I'm misreading it, I think it's an $8 million dead cap hit. Um, I wasn't able to pull up the, uh, the figures from Trek, which is where I normally get it. But it looks like they could get out after 2023 if they were to go and draft the quarterback to replace him there. But the conventional wisdom would be here, if you're going to be paying Goff that much money and you have to have him under team control for at least two more years, you'd be leaning then the, that the Lions may not be taking a quarterback. And what does that mean with that first overall pick? Will it be defense? Will it be wide receiver? They could still take a quarterback, but I doubt it. After bringing in a guy like Jared Goff, he will probably be the guy who mans the fort. Now, in terms of who won this trade, I don't think the Lions could lose it to be honest with you. And I know Jared Goff will have to be the quarterback for the next two years, but that is a team that is nowhere near winning. That is a team now that will get extra draft capital. They're going to have two additional firsts and a third. Now, you probably figure that that other first will be a late first, much like the one this year. But regardless, you're getting two additional first-round picks and a third-round pick, um, and you get Goff in return. Obviously, you trade Matt Stafford. They knew they were going to give Stafford away. They get a boatload for him. If you're a Detroit Lion fan, you won this trade. you got to be ecstatic with it. Um, you couldn't have gotten much more than that. That doesn't mean that the Rams can't win it as well. Now, if the Rams are going to win this trade, Stafford's going to have to get him to the promised land. And you look around on this team, they've got talent on both sides of the ball. They had the number one ranked defense in all of football last year. And by making this trade, the Rams are saying, we're all in. We think Matthew Stafford with McVay is the type of guy that could put this team over the top. They had a very good ground game. Obviously, Goff was very underwhelming. Matt Stafford, over the course of his career, outside of Calvin Johnson, is a guy that has not been given a tremendous amount of support. It's kind of been the book on him. People have always said he's a top 10 quarterback, but he's not been set up properly with the Detroit Lions. Well, now he is going into a perfect situation to get the most out of his abilities with a great offensive mind there in McVay, one of the best play callers in the business, and a great supporting cast. Strong weapons at the wide receiver, a good young emerging running back in Akers, and a great defense to back him up. With this trade just for next year, I think it makes the LA Rams the favorite to come out of the NFC West. Of course, we got to wait and see. I'm not too sure what their cap situation is with free agency and everything else, but they're going to be up there. They're going to be in the discussion, and obviously that will be very competitive. The Seahawks, the Rams, people are still high on the Cardinals. The 49ers could very well re rebound. We have to see what they do at the quarterback spot. Don't be surprised if they go out there and try to add Matt Ryan, who has ties, obviously, to their head coach. So it'll be very interesting to see how this entire offseason plays out. But I wanted to get a video giving my opinion on this, as this is the first of what I think many potential dominoes to fall in the quarterback carousel. I am shocked that Matt Stafford ended up with the LA Rams, and I am shocked that the Lions were able to get that return. But of course, they have to take Jared Goff back. Crazy stuff going down in the NFL world, but I'll give the Rams credit. They're not scared to make moves. I mean, like I said, they did it last year with Ramsey giving up a ton of draft capital, and now they go out there and they give up a ton to bring in the guy that they think they could get them over the top. I can't imagine what Deshaun Watson is going to get. As always, guys, if you like what you watch, please subscribe. Drop a comment. Maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.